Hello and welcome back to another video and today as you can see we're playing something a little bit different than we normally do. It's still on topic of course, it's still a motorbike thing, but we're playing GP Bikes a day instead of the MotoGP game. So if you don't know what GP Bikes is, it's basically a, a, a motorbike simulator trying to be a bit more realistic than the MotoGP games. Whether you prefer it to the MotoGP games, that's up to you. I, I have played it in the past before. Uh, this is only the demo version by the way because I don't have the full version. But you still get uh, you still get a bike. I think it looks like a Calex to me. It looks like a Moto Two Calex, and you get to play at Phillip Island. So that's all you can do in the demo version. You can only do time trial as well. You can't do actual races or anything like that. But if you buy the full version, you can apply lots of different mods and things from the community. So uh, I think actually, as far as I know, when you get the full version, the only thing that changes you can access the race mode, and that's it because you still only have the Calex and Australia. But you can get lots of mods and things like that. I'm not sure how actively it's updated. But if you want to give it a go, I'll put a link in the description. The demo is free to download, uh, so you can give it a go. But that's what we'll be playing today, then. Uh, the Calyx at Phillip Island. So you will need your mouse to go through the menus. You can't go through them with a keyboard. It's actually called the Victoria Circuit in this game, but it is just Phillip Island. Uh, I don't know if that's the official name of the circuit. I don't think it is. I think this is probably just a way to get around copyright issues. Uh, it is by Piboso. Uh, but we'll start this then, and I'll see you down on the track. So here we are, then, in the pits, and... You can see this is the circuit, quite obviously Phillip Island, so we'll head out to the track then. If I remember the controls correctly, I hope I've got the map properly. So down to first gear, so you actually have to go down the box uh, to first gear, which, yeah, works on a road bike, and obviously the Moto2 bike as well. Uh, there's my uh, ghost going around the circuit, so it's uh, it is a bit of a challenge to try and get this started, that's for sure. It's an extremely loud game! <laughs> And we've crashed already, we've crashed in the pit lane exit. Uh, you can see the physics are quite erratic, so down the box into first gear. Of course, with it being a Moto2, that is correct, since they use street boxes. And I've crashed again. So, as you can tell, I'm not very good at this game. Uh, I, like I said, I have played it before. I've actually tried to record this video many times uh, before in the past, but something's always gone wrong, usually with the audio. Uh, I think once I tried to record it before, so that's why I've got a ghost because I did play it a couple months ago for a video and uh, the video just didn't turn out very well. Whoa! The bike really kicks around. You probably, if you've played this game a lot, you're probably thinking I'm an absolute idiot. Uh, but I'm just used to them in a GP game, so I always just instantly try and go and ride it like that. It does take a bit of time to adapt. However, the leaning is really weird in this game. That is the main reason why I don't have the full version, actually, is the leaning. So the bike is trying to kick, of course, because we're getting on the power and changing the direction at the same time. So under the sign we go. Right onto the kerb, hitting the brakes, the front is locked, the front is down, yep. And that was me being a little bit too optimistic into the Honda hairpin. I will admit that that one definitely was 100% my fault. Uh, the challenge with this game really is just trying to complete a lap without crashing. Obviously, because it's trying to accurately simulate the physics a bit more than the MotoGP games, it's therefore much, much harder than the MotoGP games. Uh, so it's not like a beginner-friendly game, obviously, like they are. You can pick it up with the assist and things like that. This is really, really difficult to pick up. Oh, oh wow, that, that was a bit of a weird crash, that one. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you sort of what caused that was when you lean over in this game, you can't pick the bike up sometimes. It's really weird, like the bike gets stuck lent over and I don't know why that happens. I don't know if that's intentional, if that's a bug, whatever, but sometimes... Okay, I just went full 90 degrees and didn't fall off, okay? Uh, so, the physics... They're alright. In some in some aspects, they're great, but in other aspects, they're pretty bad, to be fair. Uh, but for saying this is a one-person project, it is, it is good. It is impressive what has been made. I don't know what game engine it's in. I don't know if it's uh, in a custom one, or... Uh, in an open source one or whatever. Uh, if you do know, let me know in the comments below because I'm sure there's lots of people that know a lot. Oh, I've, lo I've washed the front out. That is my fault. And uh, yeah, I've probably crashed in this video more than I have ever in my career mode of MotoGP. And we're down again. Oh. You see, I've accidentally gone into second gear there. I instinctively just press B to go up a gear because that's what I have it mapped as in MotoGP. Uh, whereas it's actually using a stock gearbox in this so you have first and then you have neutral and then you have second so you have to go down from neutral to first so coming out the last corner then 
tucking in because you have to do a manual tuck in. It's not like the MotoGP games are now. There's my uh, ghost go fly past me. So we go into Dewan's corner, trying to go in very, very hot. Oh, we're going a little bit too hot. We're on the grass. Although it's kicking, it's kicking, and down we go. So I tried to go in a little bit too quick there, and that was a crash, unfortunately. So back on the bike then. And another crash. You know, it's just some of the crashes are so, so weird. I'm down again, would you believe? Um, <laughs> I need to really try and get into the groove of this game. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I've just done that. But yes, at low speed, the bikes are a real pain to turn. But that is pretty realistic. If anyone, if you've ever ridden a bike at very, very low speed, they are so difficult to turn. Obviously, just because of how heavy they are. So I'll definitely give them props for that. So through the Honda hairpin then. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh. Again, I'm just getting over optimistic. I don't know why I'm trying to go quickly around the track when I can't even get around the track without crashing. So, uh, for, from now on, for the rest of this lap, we will just try and take it steadily and just make it around the circuit, and then we'll have a look at picking up the pace. Well, that that panned out really well for me, didn't it? It's 67 degrees Celsius, apparently. I don't know what is 67 degrees Celsius. I don't know if it's my tyres or... It's not, can't be track temp. Well, it could be track temperature. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Ah, uh, but I've crashed again. And I've crashed into Lukey Heights again as well. So we're down once again. May as well just call this uh, Crash Bikes for me. <laughs> I need to really, really try and sort this out because <laughs> I'm definitely making myself look like a bit of a mug here by crashing so much. Down. Down again we go. So as we come over the line then to start another lap, here we are side by side with my ghost. I think this ghost actually gets around the track without crashing once, so that's probably why it's so much quicker. And down I go again at Dewan's. Oh, it's so difficult to just get that bike turned in. Oh, wow, okay. I folded the front there through stoners, and that was a pretty big crash. Luckily, there's no damage. The bike is now stuck upside down as well. And once again, I am down. I just can't make it around a single corner without crashing. One of the things definitely is the set, the steering is really, really sensitive, but then sometimes it just gets locked and you can't change your angle, which just seems really weird to me. So then as we come up towards the line, over the line we go 3.13.2, I think it's the time to beat, so pretty bad for a Moto3 bike, uh, Moto2 bike, sorry. Well, it would be bad for a Moto3 bike as well. So you can see the ghost is getting away from us, but we were a little bit better there. Oh, through the southern loop, the bike feels like it's running wide. So actually, by taking it a bit steadier, we're actually doing a little bit better. We're actually gaining on the ghost now. Out of the southern loop, we've overtaken it. So we've got to watch out as we go through Sonus so to not fold the front. So only a little bit of throttle, a little bit of throttle through here. And you've got to try and pick the bike straight up. We've picked it up a bit too late on the brakes. Down into the Honda hairpin. Oh, we've crashed again. Come on, get back on the bike. Oh, that was actually quite a good respawn. Oh, the bike has flicked itself left. But yeah, it's difficult to pick up the bike in this game. That is one thing I definitely have uh, noticed. Obviously, a lot of the physics, yeah, I quite agree with it. Like, the braking physics are fairly good, and I feel like a lot of the time I have genuinely made a mistake when I go down, but sometimes I just can't pick the bike up. And uh, that's a bit annoying. It just it seems to swap between being too sensitive and not sensitive enough, so I, I, I try to pick up the bike. But then, all of a sudden, it's like... So, so it doesn't let you pick up the bike, but then all of a sudden, when you try and turn at low speed, uh, you can't put much <laughs> lock in without it doing anything. So another crash. Not surprised. Hopefully this next lap will be better, though, because we've only had a couple of crashes on this lap. It's actually not been too bad in the grand scheme of things. It'll be interesting to see what this lap time has been. So here we go, then. Pull up towards the line. What's this one going to be? 1 minute 58, so that's much better. Here's the ghost again. So again, we've got to break nice and early for doing. In fact, you don't even really want to break on this game going in because you'll just watch the front. So down towards the southern loop. Again, being careful. We've actually overtaken it before we even got to the end of the corner. We're on the power even earlier again. Oh, the bike is trying to kick, trying to have me off. That's what I mean. It is so difficult to uh, swap the directions of the bike through stoners then, pick it up nice and early and I've just been overtaken around the outside by my ghost I've got on the grass on the brakes, come on stop 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 no, uh, we're off into the grass but luckily we actually haven't crashed which I'm surprised about the amount of lean we had 
So we've lost a bit of time to the ghost that I set on the previous video that I tried to do this on, but- Oh! No. First gear, not a good gear on this game. I gotta remember to not try and start pushing and like really use the gears how I would in the MotoGP game because you just can't get away with that. But yeah, when you start to actually ride around the circuit, the the shifting of the weight on the bike, you notice it's, it's not very good. Oh, down you go. Like I get it's not like really easy to pick a bike up, but in the game, like there's not much you can do. Like you can't put more weight across. So just you picking up the stick should be enough uh, to lift the weight up. Obviously, I can see what they've tried to do. They've tried to simulate the weight because it could be difficult to pick a bike up. Obviously, I mean, I've never lent over that far that I would know how difficult it is. But it's pretty obvious. A heavy bike is not going to be that easy to pick up. But in the game, you can only really go four locks the other way. <laughs> You can't really do much more than that, so it should at least pick the bike up in theory. So here we go then through the final turn. Once again, I don't know what lap this will be. I'm guessing it'll probably be slightly slower than the previous one. Yeah, 201.4, so a little bit slower than what was before. So again, for the first corner, we're trying to get in quite early. We've gone a little bit wide in, although we managed to use a little bit of rear brake. Stop ourselves going wide. And we've gone into hot and lost the rear again into the southern loop. Fantastic stuff. So once again then trying to do another lap. What's this one been? 223, so a lot slower. We had many crashes on that lap, but I'm sure I didn't include most of them. So down into the first corner then. We're actually ahead of the ghost. We've done the first corner better for once. And we've done the southern loop. So much worse! Oh, you're joking me! The bike! Weight shifting is just ah oh, so annoying on this game. Oh no, I've crashed coming onto the front straight because I've ah, oh, that's so annoying. Right, I'm going backwards. We're going to try and get the run again. So coming up towards the line then to start yet another lap. Three minute eight that one. So miles off the pace again, but I did have to go backwards uh, because I crashed actually coming out the last corner. So I would have had a terrible run. So we're second to the ghost for now. Although, I'm not even really focusing on the ghost. If I can do a lap without crashing, that's good enough for me. So through the southern loop then, we've managed to actually not crash. And we're closing up to the ghost now. No! I'm... Oh. <laughs> oh, I've loaded the front again. I wish there was an option to just respawn at the last corner because I have to ride around the rest of the lap every time I crash. It's so annoying. What was that? Okay. That was weird. I wasn't going to put this bit in the video. Uh, well, I was obviously going to put the crash in, but I wasn't going to put me riding around the rest of the lap, but uh, that was another weird physics quirk. There are just some weird quirks with the physics in this game, that's for sure, especially when it comes to the leaning. I feel like the acceleration curve, the braking for the lap, pretty good, but the, the leaning, yeah, could definitely do with some work, that's for sure. So here we go then, again, trying another time. 2.26 this time, so a bit quicker. But can we actually pull this off? I'm tired of doing doings and the Southern Loop, although I've crashed the Southern Loop plenty of times as well. I'm just tired of doing this sort of first sector. I want to get a little bit further around the track. The rear is hops, keeping it jumping. A little bit of rear brake just to keep us on the circuit there. Got to make sure we don't fold the front coming out of here. But we are close up on the Ghost again, on the power. But again, not trying to run out onto the curb. The bike really twitching on that rear end as we go through Sona's corner. So the ghost is taking a big chunk out of here, I don't know, he's going to get that one stopped, that's for sure. Oh ho ho ho, the bike was twitchy through there. So out of the Honda F and then down towards Siberia. And the, the side to side is so odd sometimes, I'm losing so much time to my other lap. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> I've done it again! Oh, I think next lap is my last lap on the... I can't, I can't keep trying this forever. So here we go then, trying yet again, but we've got such a poor run out of the last corner. We're absolutely miles behind, because I was messing with the camera on the start of the straight, so that's probably why I got such a bad run, because I wasn't really accelerating. But you know what, it's not about beating the time, it's about making it round the lap without crashing. And, yeah, I failed again, and I think that's where I'm going to leave this, because... <laughs> Honestly, this game is so difficult. I don't know what I've actually done here uh, by disabling the hood. I think it's going to change camera. So you can actually ride in first person, but I can't even ride in...
okay, well, that was uh, that was a little weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can't even ride in third person, so I'm definitely not going to try and ride in first person. But like I said, yeah, I think that's where we'll bring this video to a close. And so GP bikes, extremely difficult, pretty good in some areas. I've got to say, I find that the physics are quite good in some areas. However, in others, they are a little bit, I don't know. I I'm not sure... Obviously, I've never actually ridden a race bike. I've, I've obviously I've ridden an actual bike, so I do have a little bit of a, an idea of how it should be. But I feel like it's too difficult to pick up the bike sometimes, yet then other times a tiny amount of input moves you so, so much. So the sensitivity is a little too high. That's probably something you could tweak in the settings. So that's probably uh, something on my end rather than that. Uh, again, I don't know if this is a setting thing, but there's no vibration or anything like that. So you don't know when you've pushed over the limit till you crash, which I suppose is how it is in real life in a way. But I can't feel the front pushing before it tucks, if you know what I mean. So that's, I mean, that, that's not really that helpful. Obviously, if you are pushing the front, you can feel the front that you're probably pushing a little bit too much and you can release the brake. Things, same with the rear as well. On the muscle rear and crash style from back shifting a little too much. But all in all, not too bad. I have enjoyed this quite a bit. Uh, so if you do want to try it, I will link the, the demo in the description. If I forget, let me know. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure some of you definitely will have played GP bikes before. Uh, definitely a lot more than I have. And you'll probably think I'm just absolutely terrible. But let me know what you guys think of this game. Uh, if you agree with any of my criticisms or if I'm just stupid and I've had the settings wrong or I'm just an idiot and don't know how bikes work. Let me know that as well. But yeah, like I said, Hope you did enjoy this video, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, hope you're all staying safe and I shall see you in the next one.